Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful high-end home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. And for your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project we are using bamboo skewers. We are making a sunburst wall decoration. I'm cutting my skewers to 7 inch pieces, so I'll be getting 4 pieces from each skewer. I have all my skewers here, these are 96 pieces. I'm also using a charger plate from the Dollar Tree. I'm using my hot glue to attach those skewers to the existing lines on my charger plate. We used up 48 pieces of our skewers. Now let's flip our wall decor over and we're going to be attaching the rest of the skewers. And we're just gonna place those skewers directly on the back of those previous ones. Just place two small beads of glue and this is gonna add length to our wall decor. And the total size for this wall decor is 27 inches in diameter. Now let's flip our wall decor back over to the front. I'm using my wood glue to bond the pieces together. I allowed my wood glue to dry for about 30 minutes. Now I'll take it outside and spray paint it gold with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Spray Paint. I'm also using this plate from the Dollar Tree and I'll be spray painting that white. I'm also using pearls and I'll be putting those right on the tips of my skewers. To attach my pearls, I'm using my Fix All Adhesive. I'm placing pearls on all my skewers, both the short ones and the longer ones. I'm done attaching my pearls and here's how it looks. Now I'll go ahead and use my hot glue and my strong adhesive to attach my plate to my charger plate. Just try to get it even. I'm also using an 8 inch mirror. And I'm using my strong adhesive and my hot glue to attach it right in the center of that plate. I will leave a link to all the items I'm using today. The description box can be found below the title where it says more. Also going around my mirror with my pearls. Now to hang our wall decor on the wall, I'm using the wire from my picture frame hook package. I'll just cut a small piece and attach it to the back of my charger plate. Here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our second project. I'm using two trays from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my strong adhesive to attach the two trays together and we are making a vase. I'm going to use my soldering iron to cut out the center of these trays. You want to do this outside. I'm also cutting out the top. For this project, I'm going to be using macrame card. I only have this beige color, but you can get the color that you'd like, okay? I got this card on Amazon. 
I'm just going to take some off so I don't have to keep cutting it and it will be easier for me to wrap my tray. I'll start my cord in the center at the base and I'll just keep wrapping. Be careful not to wrap your cord too tight, it will cause the trays to break. So we have some grooves on the trays. I'm placing two wraps on the inside of the groove and one on the edge. I'm done with half. So I'm just knotting my cord in the center where no one will see. And I'll just add my cord where I left off and continue wrapping. I'm also going to be using this little silver wavy plate from the Dollar Tree and I'll use my soldering iron to cut out a V shape on each side and that will fit my vase perfectly. Just make sure to line it up properly and I'm using my hot glue to attach the two pieces together. I'll be spray painting my vase, but before I do so, um, the macrame cord is cotton, I think. Um, it will suck up a lot of my spray paint, so I'm just using some latex paint first, and I'm giving that two coats, and then I'll take it outside and spray paint it black. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our third project. And we'll be using balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree. This is a small size. I have both sizes, but I'm using the small size for this one. We are making a sunburst sculpture. I cut my skewers into seven inch pieces and I'm scoring each one at the two and a half inch mark. I'm keeping my ruler there so I won't go straight down with the cut. And I'm just cutting out a V, maybe three, three eighths of an inch. And this is how it should look. For this project, you will need 18 small pieces. I'm also using a small foam ball from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use my hot glue on low temperature to attach my sticks. And whatever I do for one side, I do the same for the opposite side. I'm all done. I took it outside and I spray painted it with my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our fourth project. We are making a five piece wall decor. We are using the Dollar Tree tower blocks. I'm using my tower blocks to make frames. And I'm basically making my own canvas. So I'll show you how to make this small one.
and I made two of those. I made two medium sizes. And one for the center. I have this piece of material. I'll be using this to make my canvas. I'm not sure where I got this from, but canvas fabric is available online on Amazon. Now I'll attach my material to my frame and I'm using my stapler. And I'll do that for all my pieces. Now I'll take them outside and spray paint them with my white gloss. And I'm also spray painting them on the center with my reflective gold spray paint. So that's the base of my painting. Now I'm going to be using this apple barrel gloss beige. And I'll just paint mostly on the edges with this um, gloss paint. I'm also using white. And I'm just using my small brush, making small strokes, and I'm trying to keep the strokes straight. And I'm basically blending the paint together, leaving most of the white on the edges. Now it's dry, I'm going to be using my tacky glue on the center to apply my gold leaf. I think I used too much gold leaf. I covered up too much of the gold area, and but you can use as much as you'd like. I'm just using the paper that came in the gold leaf to tap down the pieces. I left it to dry overnight. After it was dry, I use a firm bristle brush and I'm just brushing off the excess. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Please click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who may be interested. Thank you, take care, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.